Hey, welcome back friends. Weekend number two back here at the Sebastian River Preserve. And this weekend we're at the ranch camp, which is also known as the swamp camp because every time I come back here, standing water and it's muddy and all that, and you've seen those videos and stuff. Brought my friend Colleen from the park. She decided to come out here and want to suffer in the 90 degree heat with us. I've already walked back to the camp. It's bone dry. We we're in for a great night. Let's get camp set up and get going. All right, so we got our provisions and stuff back here at the camp. The camp looks beautiful. There's a couple little foibles. I'll show you what they're all about. Man, I am cooking from walking back and forth. We need to get this shirt off of us, at least for now, until it starts cooling off a little bit. It's nice and cool up in here. We're gonna get a canopy set up, kind of like the way we did last weekend. Let's get our tents up. So we surveyed the area and stuff, and I guess Colleen's gonna set up over here in this area, and I'm gonna be setting up over there back in that area. And she's got an older style tent, and she tells me she ain't been camping in 40 years. <laughs> Let's see how this goes, putting that tent up for her. All right, so we already ran into our first problem. Colleen's old tent that probably hasn't seen the light of day in a while. All, most of the parts are here. Um, the rain fly is missing out of here and the stakes are here. However, the second set of stakes the uh, the string is broke off there uh, and we have to have this so we're going to put this together and I've got some electrical tape that I happen to have in my toolbox we're just gonna have to put them together at the joints in order to get this tent up all right Colleen's got her little two-man Ozark trail set up over there we had some doing and one of the stakes the string was busted we had to scab it together with some electrical tape campfire area there's my four-man Riviera over there I've got that all set up really nice and everything and then we've got our picnic area and our famous mess hall tarp over top of it. So we're all set and ready to go up there with our camp grill, all that other good stuff and everything. We're gonna get ready here, it's almost five o'clock, get this fire going and then relax for a little by a while with some adult beverages. Damn. Now we've got a nice fire established uh, with the help of Colleen and stuff and it's cooking. We got some good logs going. We have a nice fire this evening. It's nice and dry. It's time to enjoy a nice cold adult beverage. <laughs> so like everything that is good and uh, gets a lot of wear, uh, one of the benches here at the camp it got blown out. It, uh, it's either rotted out, somebody sat on it, I have no idea. I'll make sure to put that on a note and let the ranger know. Outside of that, the camp isn't really in that bad of shape. It's bone dry here. This is the first time out of many times I've been here that it's been this dry. It's There's absolutely no water whatsoever. I don't understand because we had such heavy rains in this area over the last week and stuff, floods, and there's not even a single drop even walking into the camp, even in the camp. You know, we brought boots and bags to put over our boots and all that stuff, and we don't eat them. I mean, it is dry as a tinderbox. So like I said in the last video, be very careful when you're out in these woods and it's so dry, because it only takes one little mistake and you're in the middle of a forest fire. Well, inside my foreman, uh, I upgraded. I got myself a new sleeping bag, and we gave Colleen our blue one, which is in perfect shape and everything. She didn't have one, but this is a larger size. Uh, it ran right about 30 bucks, it's camouflage. Uh, and um, it's rated down to 30 degrees. Of course, we didn't really get it for that kind of temperature unless it gets really chilly and stuff, but we have it so it's spread out nicely on the bed down here, as well as I got two new little pillows, and they are not inflatable. The one that I had for a long time that I've been using, when I went out to camp last weekend, found out it had a hole in it, and we had to take and get an old towel and roll it up so I had a pillow for up underneath my head. So we're doing much better tonight, and I think we'll be in good shape once it's time to go to bed. All right, so it's another beautiful night out here in Sebastian at the ranch camp. 
Uh, it's not as much breeze as it was last weekend. We kind of got a little bit spoiled with that, but it's okay. We're up underneath the canopy in the mess hall and stuff. Fire's going nicely. Colleen's out there hanging out. We got our camp set up, ready to go. Got some great food ready to happen tonight as usual. In the meantime, time to relax. Uh, we got a nice little breeze starting to come through the camp. That feels great. Well, now that we've got an established fire happening, I broke out the old tripod as well as the cast iron Dutch oven. And we made up some dough for some bread, some camp bread that we're going to try on that. It's a no need crusty Dutch oven bread. And we're going to get that Dutch oven up to temperature and see how it turns out. Well, this camp is very unique compared to the other ones that are on site here in the forest. And the reason why is because it's underneath a complete canopy of trees. And that means that the sun starts going down a little bit quicker and it gets a little bit darker, a little bit faster and stuff. All the same rules applies to any of the other camps that I've been to out here. Uh, we're trying our hand at this bread. I'm not sure how it's gonna come out. We'll see. If we win, we win together. If we fail, we fail together. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Our no need campfire Dutch oven bread. We're about halfway through the cook on that baby right there. Looking good. Yes. It's getting to be that time of night. Like I said, it seems darker in here in this particular camp because we're under a complete canopy. Um, we had a little bit of breeze come through here, but it's still kind of sultry and just, uh, uh, it's not bad though. All right, it could be a whole lot worse. I walked out in the sun earlier, as you saw, and that's where it was really cooking and you could really feel the difference in the temperature when it came back into camp and stuff. Uh, we're working on that bread still right now. We've got a good solid hour left before evening and dark comes and then we're going to cook some good food when we know all those other people running around the park are out of here. Oh, so we got this crunchy Dutch oven bread and Colleen's trying to cut through it. It looks like it's a bit tough on the outside. 
come in a little ways, but it might have a little more. Let's see how it cuts. See if we can get a piece off there and see if it's even edible. I'll oh, pull that up. Let's see what it looks like in front of the camera. Ooh, Ooh that doesn't. That looks like a pizza crust. That doesn't look bad at all. I'm gonna throw a little butter on there and see what it tastes like. Oh, that don't look bad at all. Colleen says it, 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 it's like a pizza crust. Wow. And they let this thing rise for 12 hours or no overnight, it was 24 hours. Brought that thing out in the camp in a Tupperware and then threw it in the Dutch oven. Let's, let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Man, that ain't bad at all. Mmm. Definitely different. It's not like a typical bread, but it's doable. It's hot. It's crunchy on the top. It's kind of moist in the middle. I've had worse. Mmm. Well, the evening's settling in and you know what that means. Time for us to button up. Not because it's gonna be cold, it's anything but cold. Nocturnal critters are coming, like the bugs and all that other stuff. And the more skin you have exposed to things, hear that? The longer the night's gonna become. Colleen doesn't like to be on the camera very much. Uh, she's a bit shy, so I'm not pressing the issue, but she's being a real sport. She's over there by the tree peeing right now. <laughs> now the evening is really settling in. We've got a nice fire crackling and stuff. We're getting ready to make some food, but things are starting to change around here. The sounds, just the vibe, the mood. Everybody's out of the park. We're locked in here until morning time. We heard some <laughs> sounds going on back there, and we're not really sure what it was. We think it might be a hog, whatever. But the forest is coming alive. <laughs> All right, <laughs> as if I'm not sweating enough, I tried a piece of that andouille. Oh my God, we're just a waterfall in here, but that's okay. We've already acquired the heat index in our body and everything's fine. It's cooled off a little bit. There's not really a whole lot of breeze going on. Camp is wearing on as it would. And uh, the potatoes on and we got a little bit of beans go with that. And then we're gonna chow like cowboys. <laughs> wow, look at this feast that we have in front of us. <laughs> We're knocking stuff over. Let's start with a little bit of pepper. Let's go to town. We've got <clears throat> andouille sausage with potatoes and uh, some cracked peppercorn, hot sauce, and some baked beans. The cowboy way. Oh my goodness, look at this. Holy cow. We gotta get some of that right now. Mm. Mm. Ooh, it's hot. Ooh. Yeah. Hello, and dewy. Mm. It didn't cool off very much from uh, the camp stove stuff. Is that stove off? <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Mm. Oh, wow. This is just like a, a party in my mouth. 
Oh, sausage, potato, beans. Oh my goodness, you can't go wrong. We're out in the middle of nowhere, even though we're in the state park and all that stuff. There ain't too many people out here because they ain't crazy enough. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. mm. Oh, <laughs> this meal just keeps on giving. Some of that Camp Dutch oven bread, pizza dough, whatever you'll call it. Mmm. So freaking good. Mmm. <laughs> Very good. Yummy. Oh, this andouille, the beans, the potatoes, and all that. And this is a cowboy meal. And you've seen me eat this meal, exact meal, a lot of times. And there's a reason you keep going back to something that works. Look at that, baby. <laughs> mm. Home run every time. All right, well, the night has approached us and it's on us right now. Man, you can hear a lot of critters went around here in this forest, man. There's been some tree branches snapping. They're very active tonight and I'm waiting to see if I can hear any coyotes. I haven't heard them in a while, but we got our supper in us. I'm tired, we had a good night. I'll see you in the morning for coffee. All right, well, I got everything off except my skivvies up in here. The wind is not on our side tonight. Maybe it'll pick up later and not, hopefully not in the form of rain because neither one of us have rain flies over top of our tents. And it's just all natural up into the sky and all that good stuff. And we're counting on it not raining, but we do have some rain flies that are available that are near to us when the time comes. I'm cooking up in here. It's got to be at least 85 degrees up in this joint. <laughs> Night. Wow, it is cooking up in this joint. <laughs> it's easy 85 degrees. My brows are doing everything they can to not beat a sweat. I just gotta stay cool and and not move around a whole lot. I've got the whole top of this joint open. It's nothing but net. I can see the stars up there. It's a beautiful night. Just ain't no breeze. Good morning, Sunday morning. <laughs> beautiful night of sleep. Let's check to see how Colleen made out last night. Next, she's got her doors open. Hopefully she didn't get eaten alive by mosquitoes. It's going on seven o'clock. It's time to get this thing wrapped up and get some coffee. Now it's about 7.30 in the morning, 7.40. The park's opening in about 20 minutes. I got most of the camp broke down. I'm making some coffee. My only problem is, is Colleen's just going to bed and she works nights. So I heard her tossing and turning throughout the night and then getting up and stuff. And now she's sleeping like a log. Unfortunately, I gotta get her up because we gotta get out of this camp in just a short while. <laughs> Uh, looks like the beast woke up and is getting herself together while I got in some water, heated up her coffee. And we're gonna wrap up the last little bit of this and head on down the road. <laughs> ah, man, that's some good hot camp coffee. Woo! That'll make you regular real quick. <laughs> it's 
We got pretty lucky last night compared to last weekend with ants. Now there were ants here that I found. Of course they're up in my trash and some of them were carrying around on top of the lid to the uh, Dutch oven and everything. I have a lesson learned from last week and this week. The only thing the ants really went after uh, is food products. Like last week it was crackers I left on the table. This week they went after little bits of uh, bread that we made on that Dutch oven yesterday and stuff. Uh, but I got up, I don't remember what time it was, and I didn't have any shoes or socks on. I went over to the cooler real quick, get a drink, and they got my toes and they tore me up. And that's a lesson learned. Don't ever do that. <laughs> Leave no trace. That's going to do it for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching the video. Another great adventure in the books. We had a good time last night. Kept the ants at bay. I did get my feet tore up in the middle of the night because I came out to get something to drink and I didn't wear any shoes. So that was my own fault. The camp's nice and clean. The difference between last week and this week is the humidity was much higher and there wasn't much breeze. But we still got a good night's sleep. The moon came out about 2 o'clock in the morning. There was a big coon that was in the camp in the middle of the night colleen said she's seen him and all that good stuff and i'm sure she's tired she's a night owl and she's probably going to go home after this and sleep for a little while because she's got to work tonight but all in all it all worked out good uh, and this is going to be my last overnight of the season until it cools off and remember today is the first of august which marks one month away from spam timber and our great spam timber challenge of 2021 which are going to be giveaways so start thinking about different recipes so you can enter to win a prize thanks so much until next time. I'll see you on the next adventure. Take care.